Wagwan J Squad, it's your boy Jay and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing something special for you. We're going to be doing coconut shrimp with pineapple and also we're going to be, you know, spicing it up with a bit of curry. If this sounds like something that you guys would be interested in, remember to hit all bell notifications, hit the subscription button, also drop a like and a comment on this video. But also, if you really want to see more of this video, meet me on the other side. Let's go! So for the interest of time, I've already gone ahead and cleaned the shrimp. I've also gone ahead and washed it thoroughly with vinegar to cut down the rawness. So we're going to just go ahead now and jump right into it. We're going to cut up our seasoning and get the ball rolling. So as you can see guys, we have our onions right here. We have our good old fashion country scotch bonnet pepper. We have our thyme right here. And we also have some freshly picked basil. All right. So we're going to just put all of that together, chop it finely, nicely, and the season or, or, or pot. Alright, so let's get into that right now. And we're going to go ahead and just slice the onion in two. So we're just going to use a half side of the onion. We don't want to make it too hot, so we're not going to use too much of the scotch bonnet pepper. So alright guys, we have our onions and all other seasonings nicely chopped. So I'm going to go ahead now and just add the maggi seasoning to the, the shrimp. Remember guys, the maggi seasoning is always salty, so you don't need to use a lot. And I'm also going to be adding some Portland jerk seasoning, not too much as well. You know, the Portland jerk seasoning has a blend of, uh, of various spices to put together. So it's, it has a little kick to it, but it is a nice flavor to add to anything that you're cooking. So we're gonna get a fork and we're just gonna go ahead and just mix up that together. You know when it really when it comes to shrimp and other seafood, you don't necessarily have to be overbearing where your seasoning is concerned. Because you don't want to kill the flavor of the of the, the seafood or the shrimp that you're you're actually preparing. So what you do, you actually use less seasoning so that it can bring up its own natural flavor to give it a nice taste. Oh, look at that guys. Look how nice that already looks. All right guys, so we're now going to go to work on our pineapple. All right, so I've already started the process. So we're just gonna peel our pineapple. The next time you see this pineapple, it is going to be in small slices. So as I had promised guys, we have our pineapples chopped. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and just drop these into the blender and give it a nice blend. All right. So for the interest of time, I've gone ahead and blended the pineapple. So I'm just going to go ahead now and strain the pineapple. See how rich that is guys? Look how rich that is. What's interesting about this 
is that you can go ahead and, and even drink it just like it is right now if you if you so desire so also for the interest of time we've gone ahead and um, boil the spaghetti that we're going to be using as well all right guys so i'm just gonna go ahead now and just add some oil to the the pot but right now guys what we're about to do is burn the curry so we've already added the curry to the the, the, the oil and we're allowing that to burn you know old jamaican traditional way we burn the curry so that it doesn't upset your 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 stomach and we also make sure that the digestion process is easy so we're going to allow that to just burn for a little bit and then we're going to add our seasoning all right guys so now we have our, our seasoning and make sure that your stove is turned make sure your stove is turned all the way down that looks nice doesn't it all right guys so now that that has been resting for a little bit we're gonna go ahead now and add our shrimp remember it's not gonna take very long because the shrimp is already 50 percent the shrimp is already 50 percent um cooked so it so you just allow that to cook for a, a bit and the next time you see this we should be adding our pineapple and coconut juice so yeah guys we're gonna go ahead now and just add the coconut juice and pineapple and we're gonna just mix that together nicely look at that guys oh my gosh look at that you want to just stir everything together and allow the coconut juice and the pineapple juice to just blend up nicely with the flavor of the shrimp and we're just gonna cover that and leave it for it to come together nicely look at that guys look at it coming together look at it it's getting thick and we're just gonna allow it to just dry down a little bit more and then once that is in effect we we'll take it from there next step is to serve all right so there you have it guys look how beautiful it looks this is the finished product the coconut pineapple shrimp and it is served with spaghetti look how beautiful that looks so if you like this video go ahead hit the subscription button also remember to hit the bell notification so you'll always be notified whenever we post videos like this also like the video and drop a comment so we know that you really enjoyed this video and as we always say on this channel jay says and we are out of here